somebody's going to come out and say that NBA Youngboy gave them herpes, whether it be um, Bad Baby, Mulatto, something, whatever his old ex-girlfriends were, whatever. Them hoes, the, the, the eyes have to be on them because, like, the y'all hoes got it. He know if they got it. They know if the fuck they got it. Or they might not. They might know now. You know what I'm saying? But this is what is the image that's being painted with us. And it's, like I said, it should not be a competition. Well, look over there. The Catholic goddamn preach fucking them kids. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the motherfucker right there, man, it's murdering motherfuckers. Why do we compare ourselves with them? Why aren't we trying to be better? And why can't nobody fucking hear me? Welcome to the Big Face Podcast. I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is... If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. The gray t-shirts are going for 15 The rest of them are going for 20 After you get your shirt, you need to be sending your picture in so I can put it at the beginning of the show and shit like that. Um, if you don't have your Big Face Podcast snapback, also I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Those are going for 25 and you get all that shit right here. Um... A lot of motherfuckers asking um, how to get in AO Nation. First step is um, send me a friend request and shit. Um, second step is to get your shirt. Uh, but that's only after. Like, actually, you can get your shirt. I just don't want motherfuckers representing this shit. Like, if they, if you're the type of motherfucker who stand in line to get Jordans, you're not, it's over for you. If you the if you the type of bitch who can't go outside without makeup or weave on, this shit is not for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you repping the shit. Um, so that, that if if you pass if you can pass that test, then you're like you can get the the shirt and shit like that. But actually, to be inside of the whole situation, you have to be a real critical thinker, and we, it's a different type of process. Um, but that's that. Um, what we're doing now is something called therapy, I guess. Um, this is herpes, homosexuality, and hip-hop. The weaponization of rap music. And at this point in time, I think this is exactly what we need because these the same motherfuckers who executed the Willie Lynch operation um are now working the weaponization of rap music. Um, I didn't like it when everybody could get into rap music. Um, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Iggy Azalea, um, Lil Peep, when these people should have been in, in different, uh, Post Malone, you know what I'm saying? They tried all these other genres. And this is the only genre that you can get in without any talent. This is why we have so many culture vultures and so many spies. You had that little girl, Lil Tay. You got Slim Jesus. Um, just so many people, uh, people that make a mockery of this shit. And at the same time, they laugh at it, but we die by it. This is what we listen to when we go do the shit that destroys our life. You know what I'm saying? You were listening to this shit. This is what was on your mind when you did that shit that got you them 12 years in prison. You know where you was at and you know what it was. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go back through that shit, whatever. They weaponized the shit to where now it affects us I, I, I don't, I, this shit makes us do shit, and it's been a word that the weed was, um, uh, fucking, what was it, M molecularly changed to what now, the shit make you gay or some shit like that, 
and this is where the homosexual comes the homosexuality comes in. Like Young Buck just got caught with a goddamn tranny. A tranny had um set up a camera. This is a tranny that Buck had been dealing with for years on some shit, whatever. And then the tranny set the uh camera up in the room and um Buck came in, whatever like that. So the tranny got the uh, footage of it giving head to Buck, whatever. Then the motherfucker made a song with the shit and dropped them both at the same time. Buck, I guess, paid the motherfucker. The motherfucker took the video down, and I guess the check didn't clear, or the motherfucker, Buck wouldn't keep paying, so the motherfucker uploaded that shit again. And now they got a conversation with the, the train on the phone, or train of recording Buck, and now here go Buck again, begging the motherfucker. This is the second time that Buck has been recorded begging the motherfucker. On the phone. And this is what they want, man. This is what the fuck they want. We got NBA Youngboy now some type of way. I guess these songs is all getting released right now. Whatever like that. Because now it's for being a song. The nigga said, uh, Jania got a train ran on her. This is bitch. The bitch that just got pregnant. That The bitch that just came out and let it be known, along with his mama, that he had herpes. After he did it, though. He the one who fucking came out and said it. But now in the song, he said motherfucker ran a train on him. And he doing that behind Boosie because Boosie told his baby mama that, you know what I'm saying, him and, uh, fuck the nigga name, the nigga that died, his homeboy that died, said them, they ran a, uh, train on her, whatever. So now he go in be a young boy saying, goddamn, Janae had a train ran on her. Now she come back responding to him, who gave who herpes. And it just, just fucking chaos. And this is what the fuck they wanted. They wanted us to be a fucking mockery. We just getting laughed at. But we take this shit so... They're laughing at us. They're laughing at this shit on the outside looking in. And we're dying by it. This shit is so serious that we have to die by it. If a nigga say something about you, if you don't know what I'm saying, move on it, then you a hoe and your career is over with. And it's that serious. It's that serious. But these motherfuckers, real deal, are laughing at this shit. It's no different than a car driving 200 miles per hour. You don't give a fuck about You just want to see the goddamn crash. Kodak Black just got out of jail. Jack Boy got out of jail and got sent back in that motherfucker. Uh, your, your, uh, Youngin, uh, fucking, what is it? Youngin Ace. His homeboy just got slaughtered. He the only survivor. Now he, you know what I'm saying? He back to it. Back to it. Just Boom Gang is all on Vlad nodding out. It's like everything is, is just chaos. It is really chaos. And all I'm asking in this series is do you believe that this is just. Um, you think this shit is just haphazardly happening? Meaning, like, you think this is just a coincidence that it's so much chaos all around. This chaos. Outside and inside the music. Because outside the music, this is what you are living and dying by on the street. These niggas say this shit word for word and you believe that shit word for word. You go live by it word for word. When you locked up, you saying that shit word for word. Later on, and then later on, you find out that this motherfucker is fucking trans and didn't mean none of that shit he was saying. At some point, we're going to have to sit down at the table and say, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We not going, but that's not going to happen. I don't know what the fuck I'm, like, what am I saying? If the label offers the money... You're going to do it from standing on the table to wearing a fucking purse to wearing a skirt. I just seen a picture of some nigga, some buff nigga wearing a fucking Pippi Longstockings fucking skirt. Like a, like a real, like a Vikings, a Vikings daughter would wear. They like to flirt with the line of homosexuality. And why is that? Why is it the big niggas? What's going on, dog? What the fuck is going on? 
Why is this cool? Why, why, why? Like, what the fuck is going on, dog? I'm seeing niggas making all kind of. I just seen this nigga G Herbo, man. Say cheese, and I don't know. And I, and I just said it on my Facebook. I don't know if Say Cheese was fucking around playing, if he was joking around on some shit like that, because he uploaded a fucking post of G Herbo, and this is a song, the video has it, uh, G Herbo in a red fucking Jeep shit, and he got on some fucking leggings and a bulletproof vest with some big ass Timberlands on. I said that he looked like a fucking, one of them street signs with a weighted bottom. That like that's how big the fucking shoes was, and this nigga's rapping like Silk the Shocker. The old, I'm talking the old Silk, like how Silk used to rap. You know what I'm saying? We bought that Bentleys and Dodge and Rollers. We bought that. You want to kill a nigga? Want to kill him? Like, like it was, you know, like because Juvenile kind of did it and Soldier Slim kind of did it, but that shit was with. You know what I'm saying? Like they had a method to their madness. Silk the Shocker would just want to kill it, nigga. I don't even feel a You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like, it's like he had, like, he just off. Like, just off. You know what I'm saying? Because Mystical was yelling and shit like that, but, like, you know, I don't know. Like, the shit was just, like, but this is G Herbo in 2018 rapping off fucking beat. And this nigga is one of them niggas. And the nigga say cheese ass, who hotter than G Herbo? This nigga run 2018 or some shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? And this is a, a respectable fucking channel. This is a respectable channel. Who do you work for, my nigga? And it's like, do we have anybody up there that's on our side? This is why when motherfucker we trying to go at Joe Budden, I'm like, hold the fuck on, dog. Because at least this nigga saying some real shit. At least he's saying some, Like, at least we know this nigga ain't for the goddamn system. Everybody else, damn, they've been compromised. How the fuck you gonna uh, uh, stamp, sign, uh, and approve this shit for folks, man? This nigga ain't, like, the nigga, and, and then through the song, he talking about lean. Try how, how fucked up he on, on... He's saying he's so fucked up on lean that he can't even drink it with soda no more. He got to drink that shit raw. What you saying, my nigga? Not G Herbo. Not G Herbo. What you saying, my nigga? I'm talking to that boy, uh, Say Cheese. What you saying, my nigga? Y'all niggas who claiming that y'all motherfucking uh, trying to help, like, nigga, if Bumpy Johnson did not take the money from the community, then they wouldn't need him to throw turkeys out. So ain't no goddamn, yeah, man, I donate this to the uh, the hood and I got me a, I got me a, uh, I got me a, uh, a fund, a charity right here and all, yeah, yeah, we give a book bag and shit like that. My nigga, how the fuck do you do all that shit, but you putting this shit up right here with, with a nigga who can't rap at all? They can't rap it motherfucking all. And he talking about being addicted to lean, but celebrating the shit. Anybody who is caught also that homosexual shit with Buck is like that's just giving that's just Dividing us more because now bitches, now this gives some gravitas to them saying that niggas on the down low. They say, it, it's always a rumor about a nigga being gay, but now that it's actually fucking true, now, you know what I'm saying, this is going to continue and perpetuate this shit. We damn near had this shit beat. No the fuck we didn't, dog. How the fuck we had it beat with all these goddamn faggot ass niggas, dog? Trying to be girls. Buff ass nigga with a kilt, a, a fucking, you know what I'm saying? It's cool because it's a kilt. It's a kilt. It ain't, no, it ain't no skirt. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going. I'm not going to do it. This herpes shit is showing itself to be a real issue through this NBA young boy herpes situation. I've had so many people educate me on what's really going on with this herpes shit and how prevalent it is out this motherfucker. 
We have issues and no one fucking minds it. No one gives a fuck because we fucking partying, being hypnotized mentally, and these motherfuckers over here laughing. And then the motherfuckers who pose to be goddamn the boundary, the line, is promoting the goddamn nigga who can't rap at all. Like, what the fuck is you saying by that? Nigga, don't rap and talk about drugs. That's how to be addicted to something. Be addicted to something. Wear fucking tights in your video. Do not rap on beat. How could a nigga that has talent get into that box? Once again, it's reinforcing that the fucking edict that we don't need nobody with no message that's going to help black people. Do not wake up these motherfuckers. We getting money right now. If you're getting money from the destruction of black people, you are on the golf course. You're on the golf course. You're on the fucking golf course. I don't need no nigga that's destroying this shit talking about goddamn, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm changing for life, man. This is what this nigga say, cheese always saying. Yeah, you know, we got this folk, we got this nigga deal. He said he goddamn, uh, this nigga posed a goddamn guy, oh, uh, what's the name of goddamn deal? Kodak, uh, the little Kodak nigga. Little, uh, little click clack, little, um, little Glock 9. He got little Glock 9 a goddamn deal. So you change it for life. For the better, for the worse. I'm not, I'm not on you though. I'm not on you though. Because I'm sure that G Herbo paid you for that shit. Get your money, my nigga. It's just, I don't see how the fuck you had to write that shit by no goddamn who hotter than this nigga on some shit, dog. Because it's like you really, like, understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you not, I, let's take out the whole part about. This nigga, this song is him talking about how he's addicted to lean so fucked up. The fact that this nigga has no talent at all. And that, maybe I got the wrong song. But that shit was so trash, I, there's no way. There's no fucking way that he had, there's no way. With that song and that outfit he had on, it's, it spoke volumes. What it said was, this is where success is. If you want to be successful, this is how you would rock. This is what's hot. And I, I really hope that I misinterpreted this thing. But I looked at this shit, man. The shit said, who's hotter than G Herbo in, in 2018? Fire behind it. They're, they're saying that the bloggers are now the record labels. Um, Adam Twenty Two is no better, but I don't I don't place any motherfucking responsibility on that white boy head. I place no responsibility on his head nor on Vlad head. These motherfuckers are supposed to do what they supposed to do. I take issue with niggas. I take issue with niggas. I know I've given you plenty of information on how they got them winning off of us, laughing and collecting money. Laughing and collecting fucking money. No work involved. Um, Boosie has a new artist named Lil Blurry. His name is Lil Blurry. As much as I fuck, but I can't, I don't really, shit, get your money. That nigga ain't no, he ain't no nigga neither. He like a white boy and shit like that. Get your money, my nigga. I can't get your money. I can't really, I can't hate on him because like, he getting money off a white boy. I have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is where we at. This is where we at. Fuck it. I would have respected him more if he had a motherfucker going to goddamn the pop or the or the white folk, you know what I'm saying? Air, whatever lane they got. But the shit is, they have fail safe. They have firewalls to where you actually have to be talented in order to get in their shit. In our shit, you can't be no rock and roll, can't be no country singer, no fucking, you know what I'm saying, whatever the fuck. There's no white genre that you can just get in and be talentless. You cannot just get in that bitch and say words. 
You can just walk straight into fucking rap music and be a fucking threat. Ask Iggy Azalea, Post Malone, and the list goes fucking on. Lil Tay, Whoa Vicky, Bad Baby. I'm not, I, but I said I, I'm going to calm myself down. I said I'm not going to do that shit, dog. Dog. My issue here is the homosexuality has gotten to a point now where Young Buck has f fallen victim, which it's not nothing new because he's been fucking with this motherfucker for what they say three years. But it's being exposed now. My question is that everyone needs to ask that fucking tranny, who told you to do this and why now? Who told you to do this? This is why I believe that no matter how much money Buck gave him, it wasn't going to matter because he has orders from a higher up, meaning, or, or just that he was paid a lot of money to do it anyway. He was paid plenty of money to do it. They're trying to take our fucking image and make it look like shit, for lack of better words, so that we are just fucking freaks, killing, murderers, disease, infected, Faggots. Y'all. Alright. It's like this. I made a generalization that some fucking lame ass nigga. Uh, with some rap nigga. Some white boy rap nigga. Make, say some shit about. Uh, say it right. Uh, get your facts straight or some shit like that. Because I made a generalization about serial killers. Okay. As niggas. We know that school shooters are white. Um, the motherfuckers look just alike and shit like that. We know that, um, um, news anchors, for the most part, well, not, I can't really use that, whatever. We get white people, Chinese people, and every fucking race, me Mexicans, whatever race it, we get them mixed up. We can't really tell them apart. We don't look at the motherfuckers like that. I ask you, why is it that you believe they see us any fucking different. I hate to continue bringing this thing back to the justice system. But this is the only way I know how to speak to you. Why is it that you believe that when th these stories are brought out about these situations. Why do you think that it's only on that person you don't think as a whole this is being documented? We get discriminated against and our rights are violated as a whole, as black people. This is why we go outside and we march when we see injustice. Why is it that you believe it's any different when stories like this pop up? Young Buck fucking with a tranny. I thought they were too gangster for that. NBA young boy passing herpes. And listen. I've heard, I heard, um, I can't remember who, it might have been King Cash or Diamond Live, um, academics or relatable oddball, but somebody said somebody's going to come out and say that NBA Youngboy gave them herpes, whether it be, um, Bad Baby Mulatto, something, whatever his old ex-girlfriends were, whatever. Them hoes, the, the, the eyes have to be on them because, like, the y'all hoes got it. He know if they got it. They know if the fuck they got it. Or they might not. They might know now. You know what I'm saying? But this is what is the image that's being painted with us. And it's, like I said, it should not be a competition. Well, look over there. The Catholic goddamn preach fucking them kids. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The, the motherfucker right there, man, it's murdering motherfuckers. Why do we compare ourselves with them? Why aren't we trying to be better? 
And why can't nobody fucking hear me? When I'm saying <laughs> that this shit ain't cool, it's not a good look for none of us. When you, when shit like, when, dog, all the yes men, this is to the people that are around these celebrity type niggas. But I, I can't talk to you. I can't tell you to do what's real because if you do what's real, you around fuck niggas. They gon' you gonna be the fuck like real to a fuck nigga look fake. So ain't shit you can do. Ain't shit you can do. But get the fuck away from a fuck nigga. That's all the fuck you can do. Don't be around the shit. We are going to have to isolate these motherfuckers that's on this type shit. And if you don't want to do what you think that shit lame, then my nigga keep riding with it. Keep riding with it. And when you go around and you get treated a fucking certain way and you don't know why the fuck it is, just understand. It's because of an example that someone else laid down. The reason why that white man, that white officer have that prejudice towards you or why that motherfucker just... just Believe or that prosecutor just really believe in our heart that you really guilty and shit like that. It don't matter right now. It don't matter. But in just a second, it will. And you gonna wonder why in the fuck that prosecution coming so fucking hard and why the fuck this jury is really buying that shit that she's saying. You ain't got no money. You can't get a real lawyer. So your court appointed ain't gonna fight, right? So you wonder why all these motherfuckers and, and, and the court appointed lawyer don't really believe you because of what they fucking have seen. They don't hang around niggas because of what they heard. The only time they see niggas is on the motherfucking phone. Oh, look at this shit. And y'all instead of recording this shit and putting it out. So much so that I had to put out a goddamn video about a black girl getting hung only to find out that video was damn near a year old. And do you know that motherfuckers, the only, when I asked them how do they know it's fake, motherfuckers told me, world star. If it's real, it would have been all over the news. Hold on. Hold on, dog. First off, tell me the first and last time World Star has been for the betterment of black people. Last I checked, World Star was about motherfuckers. Like, they don't yell World Star when someone's getting a fucking diploma, graduating. Doing something honorable. Saving a cat from a tree. They hear they holler world star. Stay tuned for the next episode of homosexuality hip hop. See y'all in a minute, man.